Miles, can we use another backpack? Yeah. Good morning everyone. It's 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and we are going to the Queen's funeral in winter. So we got up at 4.30, packed our bags, wearing all our layers. Going today we have no idea what's on and what the day is going to be like. Oh, we're about to head to Windsor for the Queen's funeral. It's really early in the morning. Don't get up this early unless I'm going on holiday and it doesn't feel like a holiday yet. Yep, the three of us are going down to Windsor. Should be um, a day in history. And we've got cake. And we've got Ashley. Ashley's here. Hi. Hello. And so Ashley's joining us for the day. We'll, uh, we'll see you there. We'll try and take you as far as is respectful. Yeah, should get a frontline view, hopefully. Anyway, should we go? Let's go. We'll just get some coffee. Originally, we wanted to get here by boat, but it would have required two days of non-stop cruising. And we didn't want to risk coming all the way here and not finding a mooring spot. We ended up driving instead, which was a much better option. Later on, we were surprised to see that there were a few moorings available in town. We're ready. What time is it, six? Uh. No, it's half six. 6.30, okay. We made it to the nearest village. I didn't know what to expect from today. None of us attended any royal events before, so we were in an unknown territory. I was wondering if it's going to be extremely busy all day, am I going to see anything? All of this was going through my mind as we walked through the quiet fields, passing early dog walkers and an occasional runner. We are in the nearest village to Windsor. I'm not sure which one it is. We're in Ittenwick. We parked up easily because we know we're used to more up here, so we know where the parking is. And we've got about a 40 minute walk to the castle. I was slightly nervous, but also knew that it's going to be worth it, whatever the day it will bring. Windsor is the oldest residence of the royal family going back to Norman times. A place where most of monarchs been buried since King George III. We approached Windsor Castle. Nearby, we saw a line of TV reporters getting ready for the day. Well, we made it. It's ten past eight. We have been on the move for about two hours, just over two hours. We've got a great seat uh, right in front of the screen. You can see the castle. So hopefully, this should be a very intimate spot. Very well organised. A lot of wardens all around Windsor. But yeah, very excited. The state funeral starts in Westminster Abbey in London. The first part of it we will watch on the screens. Then we shall witness the arrival of the state hearse making its way through the long walk to Windsor Castle. We were lucky with the weather. It was quite good, dry and overcast in the morning and in the afternoon the sun came out. Are you going to uh, do the cake now? I think so, yeah. Okay. Let me find my ruler. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere here. The Queen's funeral brought many people together. Being here in Windsor allowed us to experience it even closer with others being here to say their goodbyes and have personal closures. During the key parts of the service, people stood up and everyone was silent. The crowd felt united. 
It was amazing to experience the atmosphere and be part of such a historic day. This cake is. Oh, mm. it's been walked on the tray. Only just on the tray. Do you eat that in one eye? <laughs> <laughs> Knock it back. I'm half Yorkshire, I'll be able to. <laughs> I cut it too. <laughs> well, it comes with its very own crown. <laughs> As is tradition. As is tradition. <laughs> Oh, I'll hold it. Didn't want to bring a knife, so I've, I've decided I'm going to cut it with a ruler. It is clean. Oh, it is. Got, everyone got an equal bit. Nice <laughs> <laughs> I made it myself. That's fine. <laughs> On it, Ashley, you wear the crown first. Do this <laughs> Yeah, on one knee, please. <laughs> Oh, Arise, <laughs> Queen Ashley. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Should have brought a sword, really, as is tradition. <clears throat> no, go freestyle, as is tradition. There you go. Thank you very much. That's nice. We watched a long procession of many armed forces and also heard the Royal Horse Artillery firing guns and paying their respects. I found it interesting that the majority of the day there was a lot of space everywhere. We found out in the evening that there was a problem on the line from London and no trains were running that day. That could have been one of the reasons. About an hour before the Queen's coffin was meant to arrive, it got really busy and everyone was standing.
Apparently, the queen's coffin was lined with lead and was very heavy. The long walk in front of Windsor Castle is over two and a half miles long, so they have transported it by car. The officers of the royal household, the director of the royal collection and the master of the household are walking in front of the state hearse. The Queen will be laid to rest in St George's Chapel alongside her parents, sister and husband. What a day we just had. Immersed in a sea of people who wanted to say thanks, to celebrate Queen's life and to be together in respect and honour of her service. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this extra special episode. Huge thank you to our patrons and everyone who supports our videos. Sending you all our love, see you in the next one.